was the suspect chased away from the campus of a historically black college right before the shooting. And police just revealing the 20-year-old gunman may have targeted a different discount store. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas reports. Tonight, newly released surveillance video shows the gunman's movements before the shooting, stopping at another dollar store, going to Edward Waters University, before opening fire at this Dollar General store Saturday. The police seen responding after the shooting. In Washington, President Biden condemned the shooting. We can't let hate prevail, and it's on the rise. It's not, not diminished. And so we have to act against this hate fuel violence. Authorities released surveillance video showing the 21-year-old gunman taking aim at his first victim in the parking lot. Then he enters the store wearing a face covering and bulletproof vest, firing more rounds before shooting himself. Authorities say he had two legally purchased firearms, including an AR-15 style rifle covered with swastikas. All of the victims were black. The gunman texted his father minutes after the shooting, directing him to his bedroom where he left a will and racist writings, according to law enforcement officials. The manifesto is, is, a, is quite frankly, uh, the diary of a madman. The gunman had no criminal record. But in 2017, at age 15, authorities held him for an involuntary psychiatric evaluation. Minutes before the shooting, students at nearby Edward Waters University, a historically black college, flagged down campus security officer, Lieutenant Antonio Bailey. What did they tell you? Um, they stated that they seen an individual that was putting on what appeared to be a tactical vest, uh, what appeared to be gloves, uh, mask, hat, and that we need to check that vehicle out. The three victims are 52-year-old Angela Carr, 19-year-old A.J. Laguerre, and 29-year-old Gerald Gallion, who had a four-year-old daughter. It's not fair. La Tiffany Gallion is the victim's sister. He was a loving guy. A loving guy. He was a devoted father. He'd do anything for his daughter.